Do, 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 do centimeters or, or, or inches? Um, I, either. Oh no, oh, mine no. is collapsed as well. I'm Jerome, I'm the founder of two companies, uh, Rush Our Media and Our Big Day. And I'm Sarah Garner and I'm the founder of Retycle. All right, so today we're here to play Game of Towers uh, and uh, we have to build a tower that can carry the longest or highest uh, marshmallows off this table using stuff in front of us. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm not sure how to play this game, but we'll, <laughs> we'll do our best. Yeah. So how do you start your business, Sarah? Uh, I spent my whole career working in fashion and then had my first child and faced um, the problem that I, I, I endeavored to solve myself, which was what to do with outgrown uh, kids' clothing uh, once it was outgrown. And so I created a platform to recirculate uh, kids' clothing to other families. Oh, that's very cool. How old is your kid? So now uh, the first one that sparked this idea is five, and I have a second that is three. Oh, I better get started. Yep. I have a second one here as well, so I can how, how old? Six Seven. months. Oh, six months, congrats. Yes. Oh my you. gosh. Yeah, you got to get on Retycle. <laughs> and what about you? So I have two businesses. One is Rush Hour Media, yeah. uh, which is a, essentially a digital agency. So we build digital platforms for companies like Hang Seng Bank, HSBC. Uh, we've done some work for University of Science Technology, and uh, we do quite a few pieces of work for New World Development, okay. and uh, some education companies like Arch Education and others. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, also have a web pa uh, wedding platform called wow. Our Big Day, yeah. that we basically help clients or help our couples plan their wedding yeah. and finance their wedding. So we have a tool out there called Digital Auntie. Yeah. So basically, rather than the couples going out to source different vendors or different, we call it specialists, so photographers, yeah. you know, spend music, stuff like that, uh, they come to us, tell us their brief, yeah. and we go find the best suited people for them. Sure. <laughs> what, what, what comes to mind when you hear, hear the word entrepreneur? I must admit, I, I'm not a big fan of that word. Yeah, really? But because uh, uh, um, I think it has some certain connotations to, yeah. to what it means. But uh, obviously, I, I think of someone that, that you know started a business or that has uh, an aspiration to, to, something, to make something from scratch yeah. uh, uh, or to start something new. Yeah. How about, how about you? Uh, my mum was an entrepreneur, so I just, I, I, I guess I feel very positively towards the, the word <laughs> and the connotations and um, uh, for me, uh, I guess because I grew up with it, an entrepreneur, and um, and I just when I hear the word, I think of uh, resilience and passion, and drive, uh, creativity. I, I guess I, I I create a character of the entrepreneurs that I yeah. know and admire. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I can I can see that. Um, Tagging. Yeah, because I, I, when, when, I, I want to clarify because I think when I came across the word, or when, when you know, I, I hear a lot of, like the word entrepreneur, it was yeah. when you first started to use to describe people like, you know, Mark Zuckerberg or, or yeah. others and kind of like have like this kind of like have to be like a massive scale yeah. kind of thing or yeah. like, it doesn't necessarily. You know, uh, the because obviously people like Mark Zuckerberg, you hear them when they yeah. kind of successfully built yes. something, as yeah. opposed to the time that they actually spent, you know, yeah. doing it. I think it can give particularly young people a distorted view of what the journey is it like. Is exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it is a lot of hard work. I think I've used too much tape already. I think mine is. <laughs> I think I had a good strategy, but I don't think it's working. <laughs> this is this What's is not making my architectural parents <laughs> proud. <laughs> What's your mission? Um, so for me, um, it started with the problem of, of recirculation and what to do with uh, temporary use kids' clothes, and the mission has grown to. Uh, really wanting to resolve um, this problem on a large scale and um, and creating a circular fashion solution for everything that's of temporary use. Um, so we're part way on the journey, but um, but it's a it's a bold goal and mission, and uh, 
and it's, it really energizes me because I think it's, it's very needed. Um, and I think you'll, you'll know firsthand with a six month old, you're probably through a hundred pieces of clothing already. <laughs> yes. Um, um, we got given so many of it, you know, yeah. we, we, we barely, I, I think I bought her one set of clothes. Yeah. Just because we got given so many of it, yeah. which is very lovely of our friends and family. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like, and, and, and they, they, they grow so quickly. Yes. I cannot believe how quickly they, they grow. Yeah, so we're, we're just trying to create a, a scalable system around hand-me-downs, basically. Yeah. Um, and what about you? What's, what's your grand mission? So for, for Russia Media, we, we set out with this grand mission just to revolutionize the digital landscape of Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I think we, we kind of there. Uh, we, you know, we, we, we've, we've built some really cool systems for some companies that are very much traditional thinking and you know, haven't really engaged in, in much in digital. Yeah. And we've built them something that you know, allow them to engage their, their user or their customer in a much more digital and much more what you would expect in 2020. I think Hong Kong sometimes can be a little bit behind. backwards, yeah. behind yeah. With, with, uh, with digital. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. I'm, I'm really, this I'm is not, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think mine's just gonna teeter and fall. I think I'm feeling really embarrassed cool. because my parents are architects oh. and they're really not gonna be yeah. very pleased if I can't figure this out. When I was a kid. Oh, you did stuff like this? No, I wanted to be oh, architect. Yeah? Oh, then right. I realized I have like zero artistic. I shouldn't admit this on camera because I'm a, <laughs> I'm a design agency. But but uh, I think I have an eye for it, but I can't create things yeah. myself. Yeah. Um, what is the best advice you've got given or you ever gotten? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if there's one piece of advice, but um, I definitely, uh, with at least listening to other people's journeys um, in entrepreneurship, is um, that ultimately those who can persevere and get through difficult times, of which we're going through a very difficult one right now, um, that's ah, <laughs> probably the most critical um, Thing to hang on to and uh, and to wake up each day striving for as a as an entrepreneur. So I think just um, yeah to persevere. And what about you? My dad always tell me he doesn't really ex have any expectation for me to do what you know to become a lawyer or whatever yeah. or, or a particular occupation. But he always told me that you know be the best at what you do. Yeah. And I think for me that's I was you know it wasn't a particular. You know, he was a policeman, so that's as far as like entrepreneurial yeah. as it goes. But I think, I think that kind of a thinking or that kind of philosophy still goes, where yeah. I try to, you know, whatever I do, not this particular marshmallow tower. But, <laughs> no, we're but, really but, failing here. But, uh, but, uh, but to be, you know, to be the best at it, or to try our yeah. best at it, at least. Is this marshmallow this time? Is, this, is, this is way too much because <laughs> I think this has to come down a little. So I think we need, we, our time is up. That was okay. what that beeper meant. So mine's looking like it's for sure going to fall. <laughs> I, I thought I was doing pretty well. <laughs> We've got a I final. I went a bit too ambitious. Final weight. This is a lot harder than this. It is. Uh, I think like, when I look at those videos, I'm like, no, I definitely do better than this. Why did why they one like laughing? Uh -huh. and then, like, Are there YouTube positive. videos that we could have watched to yeah, prepare for this? <laughs> This is for sure going to collapse. All right, I think we need to measure it. Can we measure it before it falls down and hold it up? Right, right. Do you want to measure it? Do you want to measure mine and I'll measure yours? Yeah, but mine's not going to stay. So <laughs> that was an interesting challenge, but definitely failed this one. I think that's definitely ah! 40 centimeters. <laughs> okay, partial I I cheat. To, I think I need to. Uh, I think I need to reduce this. Are we going CM? Yeah. That's not going to hold, is it? It's, it's for sure in the realm of 60 or 63. <laughs> when, you, when you do hold it. When it's, <laughs> when when it's not clapping. <laughs> I think it's good effort. Yeah, good effort. I, I think it's good for a good try. <laughs> it's hard, like, it's hard doing the talking and, and this yeah. at the same time. Yeah. You can't lose track of what you're doing. It's my excuse, too. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, that you. was fun. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you and uh, hear about your, your journey yeah. and how, how you got things started. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye bye.